Hi guys, I'm back again with another video. Uh, it's a little different from my usual sped up painting process. Uh, this time it's just in real time. Uh, it didn't take me that long to paint, so I figured why not let you see everything. The only things I've edited out were when I had to like mix colors and my brush wasn't in frame for a long time. So apart from that, this is pretty much unedited exactly as I was painting it. So you can see exactly what my process is and how long it takes me to do something like this. Uh, I think I'd like to make these stickers. I think that'd be really cute. So look for that up on my shop soon. I'm just starting here with a quick sketch. Clearly I'm so good as always drawing directly in the center of the page. Yeah, this is this is why I struggle sometimes with uh, small sketchbooks. Uh, so it's gonna be off center and so I cropped it a bit, I zoomed in. Hopefully the quality is okay, if it's not, maybe I'll re-upload, but it's hard for me to tell right now because I'm editing on my phone. But I did this in gouache for the first time in a long time. I've used acrylic gouache recently, but I haven't opened my Himi gouache in ages, so it was a bit chunky, a little difficult to work with, but it worked out. I didn't even have to take out my whole bind white, so it was okay. So this is just pure gouache, no colored pencil or anything. Uh, often I go on top of my paintings that I do in gouache with colored pencil for finer details or more contrast, but I think it was fine today. I think it'll look cute uh, as a sticker especially or as a print. So I just started with a base of white just because anything underneath is gonna reactivate. So I thought that would help keep it a bit more cohesive because I wanted everything to kind of have a bit of white mixed in. I know some people don't like that and they think it looks dull, but I prefer that. I don't like super bright colors and uh, the reference image I was going off of anyway was sort of like a pretty dimly lit kitchen kind of thing. So I don't know. I like it. Um, yeah, I was... I decided to use the uh, tone tan paper, which I do not usually paint on. As you can see, it is buckling quite a bit. It's not really meant for paint, but because I wanted to use gouache today, I didn't want to have to do a dark color underneath because I knew there was a good chance I would reactivate it. I could have done watercolor, I guess. I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. I just wanted to go with the tone tan because the garlic clove itself is pretty light colored. So I didn't want to do it on my usual, like the art creation sketchbook because it is cream paper, but it's not quite as dark as this tone tan paper. So I like it. Um, it's not, it didn't buckle quite as badly as I thought it might. So it was still pretty easy to paint on. I did go back and forth quite a bit I don't know if you'll be able to notice as you watch it, but some colors I was like, okay, that's too vibrant. Okay, that's too dull. Okay, that's too much white. Okay, that's too dark. So I just kept going super back and forth. Um, I also have trouble sometimes blending this gouache in particular as opposed to like the, the whole bang gouache. So the way that I like to blend this is get a decent amount of the color I want like the darkest color on the page and then get just a damp brush like clean everything off and then blot on a towel and then just scrub it until it makes a gradient so you'll see me do that a couple times i tried a couple washes as well to get those shadows towards the bottom um while also keeping that detail of like the stripey lineness of <laughs> Uh, like the texture of the skin of the clove uh, but yeah I think it was okay a couple times I had to bring back some more depth but I was kind of afraid to go too heavy 
because again this is not watercolor paper so I didn't want to add a ton of water straight to the page with a big old washer glaze uh, so you'll see that um, yeah not much else to say enjoy the video I'll just play some relaxing music so you can vibe I will also be uploading a sped up version in the vertical format so if you're too impatient or if you don't feel like just turning this to two times the speed um, you can head over there yeah thank you very much for watching I'll pop back in at the end to say goodbye and go ahead and relax
Hello, I'm back again to wrap up the video. I'm just about done here. The most satisfying part was, of course, adding all of the white highlights at the end. I was really excited, actually, uh, to do this part because of all the, like, white lines that really bring out the ridges uh, when you do them right next to, like, the darker parts. Oh, oh, look at that. That's so satisfying. <laughs> I didn't have to use a gel pen or anything. Shockingly, actually, because this gouache is pretty old, but yeah. Uh, we're basically done here. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I liked how it came out. I think it'll look really cute as stickers or print. I'm thinking about making a print of like a bunch of vegetables and fruit, something you can put in the kitchen. But here it is. Here's a little close up. I will clean up the edges, of course, uh, before I make a printer stick or anything, but thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon!